Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our beloved blind playthrough legendary difficult series and I am still trying to kind of hold on to the game. It seems like the game is trying to already punish us and move us out but we're trying to stay strong this time with a haven attack in Fort Hayek where we bring the D team the one that is really not that well equipped. The guys don't even have names, so I'm going to run through my name generator and look up viewer names uh, so that we can properly draft some names for the team. Good, we're back with names. So we got Ankit, the doubter, who's going to be our leader in this uh, case, longtime viewer. Uh, very much appreciate him. He's potentially the only one who ever routes for the aliens. So this time you can route uh, for the aliens to see whether or not your own character gets murdered. We got Bastard, Bastard Poetry here. We got Carlos, long time viewer as well. We got Goofy Goober. We got uh, Isabella the Penguin Sosa, uh, Spicy Girl Latina. And we got uh, Guy Aaron. Uh, that's going to be our team. Uh, we, besides uh, the names, should double check whether or not the equipment is actually on par. Because that uh, might just be not good enough overall. We're going to see. We got those uh, mm, Arachne Spider uh, drone uh, pistols. Let's see how well they are doing. I would love to use a bit more of uh, these here. Oh cool, we can actually get, we can actually get ammunition <laughs> and it's only three per, so we would use a bit more ammunition. Good, Goofy Goober has uh, the Sinadrian crossbow, that's the poison crossbow if I'm not mistaken. Or it is just a Sinidian uh, crossbow. Uh, it definitely has a long range, which is great. One action point to use and 60 damage is just pleasant. Very pleasant. Good, and then we got Isabella here with a great Jericho Ghost Rifle. So that'll be fun. And Guy Aaron uh, also with that. Quick aim. Confirming. That's good. Uh, he's a sniper. So he's professioned with sniper rifles, but not with uh, anything else. The handgun is a single action point handgun. And I'm wondering if we should give him like a normal handgun, like a decent human being, because the New Jericho Gauss handgun is actually uh, Gauss handgun is not too bad. I I appreciate that quite a bit. We got a bit of shortage of ammunition here, but that should be okay. Um, I would vote for giving everyone at least one med kit, so that's fine. Bastard has another New Jericho sniper rifle. These have just turned out to be amongst the best sniper rifles. We got a Redeemer. Let's see disciples of a new uh, virus gun. Not the biggest fan of this one, to be honest, but I mean, it is what it is. We got a couple of special infiltrator guns. Hopefully they will work. Uh, like I said, here uh, we do have uh, the New Jericho assault rifle and here we got another New Jericho sniper. Just double checking. We would have extra points over. Carry weight and strength is good. Uh, PDW handguns isn't bad, but he's already having quite decent guns. So instead, let's just upgrade our strength a little bit. More hit points are helpful. And Ankit the Doubter could either get plus one speed. The stealth is irrelevant, he will never get into stealth. So either plus one speed or 
What I think would be the better choice is getting the hit points up because and a bit willpower. Stats will make a bigger difference for us at the beginning here. A little bit more willpower allows him to deploy the decoy a second time. Isabel is a soul trained and we could give her sniper rifle training but that would also reduce her willpower quite a bit and quite frankly we don't have the power to do that so um, the points to do that i don't want to spend uh, phoenix points on the uh, d team that's just not happening okay good it's as good as it gets really let's deploy the squad good we landed very nicely packed together over here and there is a technician i like that instilling frenzy heavy Target wolves up located. oh no i'll be right there you are kidding me right Well, I am afraid they are potentially not kidding me. Uh, remote control. Oh, and it is one of those sonic creatures. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good at all. They had to scream. One that could make everybody lose an action. Bastard moves over. Free aiming. I want to hit that head. Good shot. Good job. Good job, good shot. Nothing will get past me. Let's blast. Guy Avron. Unfortunately, missed the target. I was born ready. Spotted. Yeah, Isabella goes takes cover. Good. Now that we've disabled the head, at least mind control is gone. That is quite important. Ready to rock. Focus on getting these guys down. Let's blast them. And deploy a decoy right over there. Thank you. Can't really do much with one time unit. I think we're done. Got eyes on a target. Sniper Got moves up. Eyes on a target. And tries to take the spawn re. Not sure if that's the right call. When she's panicked, she might just leave. Well, that's exactly why we use the decoy because that would have been really 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 painful
Okay, we're in a tough spot. I want to clear the flank, but that Skrilla really doesn't seem to take no for an answer. And we need to kill others. The question is, how can we... Let the Skrilla lose actions, potentially with Warcry. Just double checking here. Yep, we got good old Warcry. Okay. Minus 15 armor. That's a good start. I like it. Remote control. Let's really use the power of our gun here. Three hundred twenty points of damage. Very nice, very nice damage. Taking aim. Hostile identifying target. Kill. Okay. <laughs> Carlos moves up. And we're starting to attack the Skrilla. How much damage do we deal? 60, 130. One, Let's them. Two. Ready to rock. Three. Four. Hostile. Ready to fight. Five. Six. And Overwatch. Just give the word. Bastard moves up. Better a shoot, uh, shooting angle. Just give the one. Two. Sure thing. Three. Not good enough. Four. Expecting anyone? No rest for the wicked. I want to be careful, these guys here do have a grenade launcher. But again, half cover. I'm trying to spread out a little bit. Nice. OK, 
Okay, well, I mean, we dealt almost half of its uh, hit points, maybe even more in damage. I'm sure if it is running away, maybe, maybe not. But if we would have at least the turtle thing would be a huge win. Uh. Unfortunately, the sniper will very likely die now. down. That's unfortunate. Can't hit anyone, damn it. <laughs> Good, we're refrenzying. someone here good remote control I like the turret super strong and if if you need a lot of firepower against specifically these larger entities it just works out incredibly well. Steving, loud and clear. Tiny bit over here. Three aims. What a kill. Here I am, let's do this. Gets will points back. And we're moving out of the mind fog. Which still leaves us with a couple of enemies over here. Receiving loud and clear. None of these, though. Need a better position. Smells like tr There we go. I'm here. That's the culprit I was looking for. Ready. I'll try to get there in one piece. Together, operative. Eyes open. Carlos tries to move even further oh, shit. away to not be hit again. Oh, 
good. Alright, and we're overwatching. We're overwatch in... I think we're okay over here. Still want to test that weapon. Maybe next time. Skrilla moves away, wants to stay in the game, it'll be in the nearby horde or wherever. Good, ends the turn there. Just need to remind, uh, remember where the guy was standing, because we can use the turret to just waltz through it. Interesting choice to come back to hit the turret. Yep, you're not becoming invisible again. Five by five. Does that mean he's dead? It indeed uh, means he's dead. All right, where is repair the turret? Not enough will points. Okay, cool. Ready, we'll get aim. there. Still it's frenzy, limps into cover, overwatches. Here I am, let's do this. All right, war cry is successfully done. Moves over, remove mind frapper, uh, fragger, no. I was hoping he already had skilled uh, the ability where you can revive, uh, revive a body part of an individual. That would have been so cool. Five by five. Holding position. Quickly. I see Isabella the penguin moves up. Wait, wait, wait. We saw. Oh, still panic. Good. <laughs> Almost forgot that she was existing. I figured we killed her at the very beginning, but indeed we did not. This went surprisingly well. I'm starting to get a hang of how to deal with uh, certain enemies. I believe more so than like the better equipment. Which sort of tells me there is definitely a skill aspect involved in this game. Although it was more difficult for me at the beginning to kind of discover what the right tactic was. Let's roll! Mainly because many of uh, the enemies are 
quite overwhelming at the beginning. And when you don't know how to deal with them, it feels like it's quite just quite difficult to get them down in the first place. Everything here in this game is definitely more fragile than an XCOM 2. I'm not necessarily saying that's a bad thing. Uh, it is closer to the original intention of how UFO Enemy Unknown was played. But you basically had these huge rosters of um, semi-nameless soldiers that were trying to battle their way through uh, the unforgiving world of uh, an alien invasion and I think Not they've now, captured that aspect of let's say the unforgivingness quite well uh, what they've however not necessarily done it but maybe it's just me being much older now and not a teenager with no idea about strategy games what they have not done as well is to make sure that the in, uh, that the uh, player characters actually have uh, balanced skills. Some some of the skills to me appear um, game game breaking, and I mean that in a quite literal sense. Because if I see some uh, something like oh wow, that was pretty hard hit. When I see something like, say, um, War Cry, to use one of the more prominent offenders, the fact that you can use that skill in order to completely nullify. No, this is not going well. Completely nullify. And an uh, entire rush of the aliens towards your base, like just by standing there, and uh, you simply take away so many actions that the aliens have no other means than to stand still and do nothing. Hope I can find cover. I believe that's an a bit too oppressive, and would have been the right. Uh, call to maybe balance them a bit better but then again maybe it's just me becoming better in those games and not necessarily the game itself this. being too easy the fact that I play this here for the very first time and I've only lost one soldier in that entire setting That appears to be a bit off to me. Smells like trouble. Trying to give uh, use this technician as bait. What's our plan? Good. End of turn. Keep it together, operative. This is what we train for. We destroyed his gun. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to sound too negative. I think that the game's pacing and general difficulty is okay. Um, the unexpected jumps in difficulty here and there. But it's not generally wrong or anything. It's just sometimes you expect that the game will be linearly difficult and then in reality position. it's way more difficult than that 
That can happen and there might be I reasons this for it. Keep it together, operative. Running. Overall, the system is okay. I would say oh, not now, it's, please. the skills work fairly well. Missing a bit the rock, paper, scissor type of deal. If you go through the extent of uh, just having so many different types of weapons, why not make different types of enemies way more vulnerable against, let's say, 200% uh, of damage against certain viruses? So that the weapons are actually like really, really good and not just a minor uh, side grade so that you are better off with just one weapon through the entire time. So that would be something from a system perspective of the game could do better, just harder counters. We managed to defend. I wasn't sure that that was going to happen. The Skrilla was running away. A couple of others were running away. I noticed if you destroy the weapons, they are actually quite easy to destroy from time to time. Then they will be just running away. Skrilla, uh, also, if you destroy or nearly destroy its hedging capabilities, then it will just run. So we got ourselves nice an auto turret. I like it. Sniper Rifle Magazine and Sin uh, Sinadrian Sniper Rifle, which is good. Which is good. Let's have an info. Yeah, we could recruit a soldier, but I actually just wanted to trade. Um. Personal. Isabella got a level up. We'll spec into that. And that because we need more hit points. And everybody goes back into Born of the uh, in the USA. Waits there for a moment and. Yeah, one of the level four characters that doesn't immediately need experience could help us to continue the exploration. Manticore 3, I think the personal wasn't looking so hot, so everybody off to Frozen Circuit and we're just going to trade a bit. Mandicore 1. Same deal. Let's just heal up and trade. And the crew of Mandicore 1. Let's just double check. We had a few active structures. This one here, our second team needs to take care of. This one here, the prime team will need to take care of. Then we had. Phase one, which the second team is currently on the way. This year, which team three needs to do. This we had no one yet. And a couple of other missions that maybe even team number four could also do. I don't know how difficult they are. Good, we're trading.
Not a glorious shop, but still okay. No, those guys were having those ultra high prices. Um, yeah, again, ultra high prices. Empty. Oh, we've traded a lot. Mutagens can be harvested from captured uh, Pandorans. Do you really think the answers we need as a species lie in Pandoran biology? In plundering the invaders for their mutagens? The disciples believe that humans need to evolve, to mutate. But don't you see the inherent misanthropy of this philosophy? Blaming human? Not only is it misanthropy, it is also a denial of human agency, of our ability to make choices. Well, wonderful. We're being, yet again, only friendly. It's difficult to get onto the same page with that guy. Good, they have already traded what they do have. Let's fly over here and then begin to explore further. Good, we'll do that in a second. to make sure that we're getting all of the personnel back on board. Hmm, they're not completely, completely healed. So flying up there. Medical 4 has arrived at Heranu during the Rite of Hope, which reminds the faithful look of beyond problems of the present. Believe the citizens march through the haven chanting perfection as possible, embracing the exalted, the first human being to approach said perfection. Ceremony, there is a feast, and the priests share some of their provisions. Good. Flying back here. Mandicore 3 should be ready. Personal needs to be loaded up. Um. The 
appropriate Murphy could get a new class. But not quite ready yet. Anyway, so frozen circuit, that is where we can load up people. They're still a bit exhausted. Damn it. it, takes longer than expected. Let's leave them there. How's the Prime team doing? Phoenix Point. Good, they're back on the way. I'll, I will still do this mission next. I don't want to waste their time. They need to go here. And then next up, uh, go back to Born in the USA, I think. We will still continue to explore these sites. Um, and as we're getting the last ones, the personnel in Born in the USA will get more experience. See, we got a couple of level ups already. And although I don't want to give them a new class, some of the circumstance in some of the cases, it's quite obvious that we will need more uh, hit points. I like the bonus accuracy, but I like surviving even more. So for now, we're just focusing on keeping the guys alive. Anyways, um, all of them start uh, getting experience. I think Born in the USA now does have one, two, train, three, well, one, two, three training facilities soon, three. Uh, that should actually give them quite a bit of experience and we do have living quarters which are seminar point uh, regeneration and medical uh, bay so they can also reach in that and enough of archaeology uh, plants here the helios is soon going to be done that would uh, that would help us to get to our locations faster but for now phase one from team two force initi initiation would be team three and we do have the structure here uh, that is also team two and the second structure down here which is team one so those will be the next uh, points of interest on the map i want to try to keep the aliens at bay as much as possible the mist generators are also coming through nicely, which is good. Then finally, manufacturing-wise, having a Helios, that would be 280 um, tech. And we do have 192. Yeah, not, not enough. We need more tech. soon-ish because I want uh, another Helios like I said at the moment the for me personally the most important uh, aspect is getting our aircrafts because that'll determine how how well we're uh, doing with regards to getting to the actual locations after the Helios is done one Manticore would be freed up so that would be team two and I think I'll just get another one of these uh, tier mods. They are not really fast, but uh, we could easily uh, use them to transport an entire team. Um, maybe that is the, the aircraft for team five or whatnot. 
but that's so far in the future I haven't really thought about that I like I like most of the aircrafts can't see myself getting something like this here they should have really increased the capacity to eight made it a little bit more expensive to uh, to build and then that into a smaller range then it it would make sense but who takes seven people on a mission when you can take eight like why would you why would you do that it just for me it doesn't make any sense um yeah so need more uh, resources if you have resources such as the ability to click on uh, click on the like button then please share that with me and uh, see you in two days bye bye guys